Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tommy and today I'm going to show you how to go from this, a completely white disc, into something like this or this or this. So just keep watching. So I have the beginners here, the powders. I had the second phase, the mid ranges, and I had the beast ones. The, the fairway drivers. So, yeah, let's just go! So, yeah, before you watch any further, this is going to be a long ass video. So, please pause the video now, go get some popcorns, and then come back and then join. See you guys! Hello guys, my name is Tommy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do something that I've done a lot of times, but I haven't shown you on the channel yet. And that is disc dyeing. So I've been coloring discs or disc, done disc dyeing for a long time, but I haven't done it on this channel. So I was thinking, why not? So I have nine of these, a lot of white discs. Some are clear and some have the stamps still there. Uh, and I actually have a cool concept that I want to show you here. Uh, this will not be a tutorial or like showing you all the steps. So if you want one of those that I, I show all the methods and what I use and what I do, please press the thumbs up and write that in the comments so I can do that later. Uh, but just, yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. So this is the disc I have. I have a whole set of uh, Castaplast discs. So I have powders uh, down below here, I have mid-ranges in the middle, and I have fairway drivers uh, on the top. And then, so my thought process was uh, having all the overstable to the right, all the stable in the middle, and all the understable to the left. And this was kind of a good plan in the beginning, before I knew that Castaplast didn't have an understable powder. But yeah, I used that with uh, another disc instead, so it's uh, Göte and that's pretty much for me flies like an understable uh, powder. But yeah, I'm cheating a little bit here, but uh, I couldn't have done it, done it either way. So this is what I have and this is what I'm going to try to do. So I'm just going to try to do a Pokemon theme uh, set here. So I have all the starters in the bottom and their evolution one step up and the last evolution on the top there. So they're getting bigger and better for, for all the discs and all the evolutions. Because who doesn't love Pokemon, right? So this is a process, it's going to take a couple of days for me to, to finish this, so if my clothes change or if my hair change, it's, yeah, it is what it is, I, I take it slow and I do everything. So first I want to show you the process, how I can, can do this, and then uh, I'm just going to do it in all the nine, nine of them. So the execution is kind of easy to explain, but a little bit harder to do, but so first off I want to wipe all the stamps if I have one. Then I want to add all the black lines uh, to the Pokemon there in the middle. Then I want to do a nice background in the glue bed. And then lastly I want to color in the Pokemon in whatever color they are. And then I'm done. So then I just have to do this nine times and then I'm, I have a full set. So this is step one. Uh, removing the stamps. This is very beautiful, yes it is, but I want to put my Pokemon on here, so I need to remove this. And you do this in kind of easy steps here. We have a magic erasers, so we have water and we just use the magic eraser to get most of the colors gone. And then we have acetone and cotton balls, I think you call this, uh, to get the rest of. And the stamps obviously needs to go, but uh, the blanks, I have some blanks as well. Uh, we want to, to use the magic erasers and acetone on them either way. 
because uh, Custom Plast has an, a little bit of a residue when they are new. So we want to get rid of that so we can get a nice coat of color on them l later. Like that, and now I have a blank disc. I have a little bit more I need to touch on here, but now I have a blank disc. And now I have a clear canvas, and I can do whatever I want with it. So here we have a black, blank one, so we don't need to do that much with this, but just clean it up a little bit. So we don't have the residue on it. Here I want to show like the residue on the Casta Plus disc, what it does to you, and how you can fix it. You see here, the water is like raining upwards when you have water on them. And here we have a clean disc that is cleaned with acetone. So everyone, everything like rains down as it should be. Here we have the results. Uh, so we have eight clear discs now. And yeah, one odd one out. And this is really a bummer, but Sometimes Castaplast stamps have yellow on them. The dark ones seem to have more yellow underneath the stamp and uh, most of them does not. So yeah, Castaplast, if you see this, please please explain why do you have yellow underneath your stamps? So so yeah. <sighs> okay, it's fixable. We just don't need any white there, because uh, the, the yellow it will take dye, but I don't uh, want it to be in a, in a white space. So I just need to think a little bit more, and then, yeah. A little bit disappointing, but e either way, we have 8 nights discs and one okay one. So, on to the next step. It's on to the computer. Let's go! So now we're in the yeah the studio, so this is where all the magic happens. So here I have an old Windows 7 laptop and I also have my Cameo, Cameo 1 uh, cutting machine, so I don't have to do all the, the cutting of the vinyl by myself. So let's just jump right into it. So I have opened Silhouette Studio here and I have an image here. This War total time now. So I just drag it in here. And then I need to resize it so it's 6.5 inches is normal for me. Then I need to center it. And then I need to trace it so the, the machine knows what they're going to, to print. So now I just need to fix the settings here. So everything that I want to cut out is yellow now. And then I just press trace here. Send to silhouette. And here in, on my machine I have an vinyl page that's uh, it's 12 by 12 inches I need to put it in here and I need to press the load media here everything looks good and then I come here and press the cut page so this will yeah it will sound a lot but I will just speed through it so you yeah you can see everything Okay, so here I have my printed vinyl here and I have a white disc. 
So next, next step is to take the vinyl and place it on the disc. And just to be a little bit safe here, I well I have a laser pointer in, in the roof here, as you can see here. So just to be extra careful here, I'm going to place it a see-through disc on this and I'm going to use uh, a permanent marker to just draw around it so just to double check that I do haven't done any major flaws with yeah with everything like so and now i don't know how much you can see but i can see that the charmander is in the middle here and nothing is like outside of the circle so this should be fine the next step is to mask the charmander here and a lot of people use contact paper for this but i find it easier to use just yeah normal painters tape so i'm just going to mark it uh, to mask this here a little bit fast and then you can see Like that, so I have this masked and now I want this to be very sure that it, it sticks so I have my yeah, an old credit card here and then I'm just going to So I do this because I want it to, to be really in there because when I remove the backing of this, this needs to be very tight, otherwise the whole design will be ruined. So now I think I'm done here. So the next step is to use my phone with the light on, put it right over there. Then I have one of these. And then I'm, I have my design upside down. So now I can remove the backing of this and I do that very slowly. If I see like this here, it tries to peel off here, I just try to make it really stay there. And then I'll try again, very slowly. So there you go. So now I have the like the sticky side up here. So I just place it on top. I still have my center there. I take my disc. Put it upside down, make sure that the laser pointer is in the middle, and then I just drop it slowly. So, now I have it. That was the hard part. Now I can just remove, do it like this, and then I want to push from the center out. credit sorry about that now I take my credit card again and again from the center I want to push all the bubbles and everything out so take this part slow you don't have to be in a rush here just take it slow and be very precise one major bubble here but uh, hopefully that's is in a, in a place where I can just don't mind it but yeah we'll have to see so now I'll take this place it over here and then I just remove the tape very slowly here as well So 
So the next step is, well, here I have Charmander. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so next step is just to remove everywhere where I want the black. And I do this with a pair of tweezers and a small X-Acto knife if I need it. Probably not, but maybe I need it. So, there you have him. Welcome everyone to my garage. This is where I do all my dyeing. So I have a sink and I have a bench here where I work. So here we have the Charmander family, the Bulbasaur family, and then the Squirtle family of course. So now we need to seal all the edges so we don't get any bleeds on where the stamp has been. So first things first. Uh, I've done this a lot in my kitchen before, but it's very dangerous. If you drop something, the the kitchen is going to be ruined. So now I'm in the garage, I have one of these. So I can heat water on, and something else in this. So I'm just going to heat this up and have regular water in this. Like that. And now we just wait. Uh, we want the, the water to be hot. We don't want it to boil, so you are, need to be able to put your finger in there without burning you too much. And then you're just going to dip it in the water, like so, upside down, like that. Leave it for like 30 seconds to 45 seconds maybe. Then you just take it out, push it down, and then you can just push all the edges down so it's completely uh, set there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's starting to get really hot here, and it's yeah, steaming a little bit. So I don't need more heat now, I'm just going to turn this down, and then I'm just going to, to place my disc. The first one. And this is just, it's softening the, the vinyl so we can push it down into all the grooves and holes we get from the stamp. So we just leave it here for a couple of seconds, then we just take it out and just, yeah, try to seal everything as good as we can. And in these steps you usually find like small pieces that you were supposed to have been weeding uh, earlier. So you just take those off and just double check everything. And now for the next step we do exactly the same thing but with color as well. So we have water and I dye poly. Uh, so I have the black one yeah, in these glass jars so I can reuse them a lot of times. So I just put the I dye poly and the, the water in here then I heat it up exactly as I did in the last step. So it's going to be hot but not boiling. And then I do that for like 10 minutes then I lift it up and check it then I do it for five minutes more and then check it and the, when it's completely black I'm done with it. There you go. Timer here. Take it in ten minutes and then we're going to see how it looks. Probably I need more, probably I need like 30 minutes, but it's just, it's a good start. And it's also good to just take it up uh, once in a while, because if you get any air bubbles in this, 
you can just it doesn't really matter if you take it up and put it down again so you don't get that many air bubbles so yeah let's just wait now okay now it's been 10 minutes so let's take it out and see what it looks like I mean that looks really really good so now I'm just going to let it be here and then we're going to do well eight more I guess so this is how it looks now I have the all the back black outlines done uh, I have removed the, the background from a couple of them but not all of them okay guys now it's time for the most fun part the background so we have here we have the disc without the background we have four different colors of red here we have the glue we have an ultimate disc let's do some background now we have this to get the air bubbles out It's okay to do this before you have added a color or acetone into this because nothing is flammable here. But once you have the colors or acetone in it, you don't want to use the torch at all because that's flammable and don't mess with that, okay? So now we just take these droppers and take one of the colors and then just, I don't know where to start, I can take this one. And then we can do like some patterns patterns and then just go ham something like that and now I just take a toothpick and then I just yeah do the, do the swirls and then we place the disc so now I have this that's ready and this is ready as well but when dealing with the pro chemical dyes uh, they want heat because it's uh, yeah it's easier to use them with heat so i have this heat mat or whatever it is so i'm going to place it on there i'm going to use it with heat for like two hours first and then I'm going to leave it uh, the, the full 24 hours after that. Like that. And then slowly. And then just leave it. Don't push it down. Don't do anything now. Just leave it. And so it's been 24 hours. I put some like masking tape around it so it doesn't drift anywhere. So, yeah. There we have it. Uh, I, I think it's pretty much as I want it. So let's clean it up and yeah, let's do the rest of them. So that was six of the nine backgrounds. So I, I really like the green ones. The, the red ones is, yeah, this one is kind of good, but this had some, some strange, yeah, bubble here. And this one has some bubbles as, as well. So I need to fix this. 
And the blue ones, yeah, this is giving me a lot of troubles. So, I have, this is a Berg. So, uh, I know I'm going to have a really big problem with the Berg bubble. So, I want to do the blue some different for the background. You will see later. So, for the background here, I want something that looks like bubbles. So, blue bubbles. So, I'm going to try this. I've never done this before. So, yeah, let's just try it together. So, I have uh, soap bubbles here. I have some, yeah, whatever you're calling these ones. And I have some iodide poly blue. And a straw. So, let's try to do this. Um, so the, the thing is, I'm going to place three of these here. One, two, three. Three. I'm going to add the soap bubbles and the iodide in here. And I'm going to blow it with the straw. So it creates a lot of bubbles. And then I'll take this upside down and put it down like that. So it doesn't hit the bottom at all. Yeah, so let's try it one more time. And slowly this time. So yeah, now I'm going to just leave it here. That's actually pretty good. So it's a little bit white hair, but otherwise I'm, I'm quite happy with this. So guys, this is the last background. So hopefully this is yeah, okay. And then let's just clean it up and then start with the, well, with the Pokemon itself. So this is the results. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it wasn't so good. It wasn't like everywhere to the edge. It's kind of okay here, but not that good here. So I need to touch it up a little bit, but it, it's pretty, pretty fine. So here is everyone now. So I have background on everyone. So we have the Bulbasaur line here. The Charmander here. And the Squirtle here. And um, it's kind of okay, I guess. Okay, hello guys. So lately it's been a lot of like painting, like hand painting. So this is, yeah, I can just, yeah, show you here. So this is, yeah, Blastoise. I'm working on the black here. You can see it's not solid yet. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's moving along quite good, but it takes a long, a long time to, to do this. Uh, so just the painting. So I think I've done this like for a week, maybe, yeah, maybe two weeks. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. So this is my setup. I have a lot of glass containers here. And this is just acetone and iodide poly in most of them. So I label them like green, blue, red, pink, yellow. And then I just, I take a Q-tip, I dip it in, and I paint it. 
and in this like the smaller sections here uh, I use a small brush instead so it's a little bit more fine tipped um, because I don't want the paint to be in this yeah the yellow or the blue or anything so just give me like tonight and I can show you all the rest uh, tomorrow and we're officially done with all the coloring, all the dyeing. Now we just need to wash them off, then we're good to go. But this is how they look now. Uh, so I am really happy with this. Uh, so let's just wash them up and then get some pictures of them. So this looks really good now. Uh, earlier in my, let's say, carrier, I just took acetone and cotton balls and just washed them off for any excess dye uh, but that is yeah, it's muting a lot of the colors so now I have some cooking oil here and some dish soap then I'm just alternating like five times and then I'm done so let's yeah start off this is going to take a while but yeah Okay, editing Tom here again. So this took forever to edit. So please press like, write something nice in the comments and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you made it this far, please write, uh, yeah, I made it in the comments. See you guys later. Bye.